it's not a game, it's a rich thing. Jaden. What? Hey, you're live, Jaden. Remember when I um, flung Max and he landed on his feet? You, Carson, you threw him again. I am No! <laughs> this video look who has returned to watch and listen to the blue dragon buzz pepperoni pizza from rob is my bag baby <laughs> 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 I'm rich, everybody's gonna be eating. Right? <laughs> Everybody thinks I'm gonna be a some wash up. Milk before cereal or cereal before milk? Cereal before milk. Why? Otherwise, you might run it over. Thank you. <laughs> cereal before milk. Why? Uh, it's good that way. Thank you. Cereal before milk. Red peppers or green peppers? Green peppers. Why? It just tastes better. <laughs> Thank you. Neither. Why? I don't like peppers. Thank you. Are hash browns and fries the same thing? No. Why? Because hash browns are better than fries. Thank you. No. Why? Because fries are better. I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> How many elementary students do you think you could fight at once? Seven. Why? Seems like a good number. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the whole elementary. Why? Because I'm big and strong. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 85. Why? Because I could. Thank you. <laughs> Who would win in a fight? Maya Long or Morgan Parrott? Maya. Why? I have no clue. Thank you. Random guess. <laughs> is there a, is there any, what rules are there? There's no rules. No rules. Morgan Parrott. Why? Because she cheats in everything she does. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I think it'd be a tie. And Why? And it'd be overtime, extra, extra matches. I don't, what do you call it in? Rounds. It'd be extra rounds. Why? Because they're pretty feisty, both of them. Thank you. Maya Long. Why? Because Morgan's a little twig. Thank you. Maya Long. Are you kidding me? Why? Why? I don't know. I, she's been up in the weight room, so that, that helps. You don't know what I do. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Who has better ice cream, B&G or Dairy Queen? Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. Why? It's just better. Um, because they have blizzards. Thank you. <laughs> Square or circle pizza? Oh, circle. What social media app do you use the most? Snapchat. Why? Because I talk to my friends on it. Thank you. <laughs> what? Go ahead. Please take him away. Hi guys. I'm Morgan Parrott, and I think we all know why I'm here today. I'm just here to publicly apologize to my classmates and the viewers and just everyone that has seen me on this podcast because sometimes <laughs> sometimes I just don't act okay okay we have to cut that okay that's fine keep going keep what do I say I just want to make an apology to everyone because 
from editing these videos and watching them back, I've just felt in my heart, Shrank? Yeah. <laughs> um. I felt in my heart that I just need to be nicer to people, and I've just been too hard on them. So going forward, you're going to see a change in me, and you're going to see that Shrank's going to take over the role of being the mean one. So now I'm just going to make some public apologies. First and foremost, I just want to make an apology to Jace. You know, he did my makeup the best that he could, and I was just really, really being mean to him. Like, it's not his fault that he's not good at makeup. Who do I apologize next? Maya. And then I just want to really... <laughs> next, I just really want to apologize to Maya. She's my f dear friend, and I just think that you have to be nice to your friends if you want to keep them. And finally, I just want to apologize to Shrink because he doesn't know what he's talking about, and I just feel so bad for him. <laughs> You're looking off on me. I used to be nice. Yeah, and he thinks that, like, Sonic isn't a fast food restaurant, which just really doesn't make sense to me at all. What one's not a fast food, then? Hot bellies. Shrink said that. Pot bellies isn't a fast food, and I just feel really bad for him of his lack of knowledge, you know? Like, sometimes you just got to feel bad for people. So just, yeah, going forward, you're going to see a change in my heart. And just, I'm just going to be an overall better person. But I'm not apologizing to Grot. The end! This is episode 13, uh, post game. I'm gonna be interviewing Mr. Shrank uh, about the basketball season. Uh, what are you looking forward most to this season? Um, I guess, I don't know. I just kind of take it one day at a time. Right now I'm just looking forward to practice today. Um, it's Maya's birthday today, so I'm really looking forward to practice. She's really excited. Woo! I was, gonna, I was gonna ask you why you didn't have it this morning. Oh, <laughs> well, it's because it's Maya's birthday. We didn't want to do it this morning. Didn't want to wake her up. Otherwise, Maya. she'd have been slow. Maya's the one that suggested it, but I know. But I was thinking what was best for Maya. Oh. Anyway, um, once game start, obviously I look forward to game planning, watching film on other teams. Oh. I don't know, just getting into the rhythm of. You know, if we got two games this week or three games, just kind of, I don't know. I like watching film. I like diagnosing. I like planning and things like that. So, so you got your first game Friday. Yep. Have you started doing any of that? Yep. Yep. Started looking a little balt. We have Baltic Friday. Um, this won't be out before then, so hopefully you were there. Um, but either way, um, yeah, we have Baltic. We um, Yeah, I started the game plan. It's hard um, game planning for the first game. I usually never get a uh, game plan out to the girls, but... Um, I mean, they, they return like four or five seniors, I think. Um, and a lot of them that played or started last year. So they're going to be a lot similar to what they were last year. So that's kind of that kind of helps where I think teams that game plan against us are going to have a little problem because we lost a lot of seniors. So I don't think they're going to know what we're really about. So it'll be kind of kind of fun being able to throw uh, some different things out there at teams. So, But as far as Friday goes, it's just kind of you get done with two weeks of just trying to put together what you think we can do and then – you know, putting it on the floor, so it's it's kind of scramble and don't make mistakes. So excited to find out. Yeah, excited to see where we're at. Um, you got some pretty big games this year. Yeah. What are a couple of them? Um, well, I think early this year it'll just be fun. Like I said, we we graduated a lot, so it'll be fun to see girls that haven't played a lot step up. It'll be fun to see girls that have played a lot um, progress and get better and see where they're at. Um. But I think as far as games go, these early games will be important for us. But I don't know. I have Canton early on in the schedule. I think it will be a really tough game. Um, after Canton, we go to the Internet Classic and play Hamlin, who was runner-up last year in State A, and they return their best player. Um, and after that, Dells before the Christmas break, I think, will be a big game, Del Rapids. Um, and then other, other ones, we have Flandreau, which is always a tough game for us. Um, They'll be kind of the team to beat, I think, in the biggest conference. Sioux Valley will be pretty good this year. They didn't lose a whole lot from last year. Um, and then the DSU Classic, kind of waiting to see who we play in that, is always kind of kind of fun too. So, when will you find out about that? 
Um, I think that is in January, so we usually find out uh, like about around Christmas time. I think in December they usually oh, you don't send even that know out. until. No, we won't know. They usually kind of let teams play five or six games to kind of decide who they would match up with. So you got you got to play some tough teams this year. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you think uh, some of the big cha- biggest challenges will be throughout the season? Um, schematically, <laughs> for us, yeah. Uh, being patient, not shooting the first shot that comes to us is kind of a problem. What you say, girls? Yeah. 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 We like to fire up shots when we're open. Um, I think um, just being efficient, utilizing the shot clock, um, making teams play defense so we don't have to play defense for three quarters of the game. Um, that's kind of a big goal of mine. Uh, communication. We're we're a lot smaller this year, so I'm hoping that um, a little bit of our athleticism comes through with rebounding. I'm actually really concerned with us getting out rebounded night in and night out. So. Um, I think that'll be a big hurdle for us to overcome. Um, other than that, I think also another thing for us is uh, just recognizing who we're playing and always coming out with the same amount of effort no matter like who's on the schedule, whether it's somebody who's 0-10 or 10-0. What are you saying that you're expecting all of that from your players? Well, yeah, yeah I mean, we have to. So, I mean, if there are weaknesses, they'll be our focus points. So I think I, I do. I expect them to respond with whatever Coach Howe and I bring to the table. What are some of your like major key points that you uh, you look to reach each year? Um, I think it always depends on the team. I think a, a, as coach, you kind of set a goal based on what your team is, um, and of course, as coaches, we're like super critical. So I think like we're not a very loud team or communicate a lot. So it's like always at the top of the list is okay. We have to over communicate because if we over communicate with this team, then we'll communicate maybe just enough. Um, so I think it always depends on what kind of team you have. But like for this year, it's having a team that over communicates, having a team that is, I mean, I, I would say this team I, I'm not too worried about as far as like having like uh, team like girls like butt heads or like not get along. I think we're pretty close as a group they are, and so I'm not really too worried about that. So it's not like a strong point I'm trying to hit home, but it's just mostly stuff that happens on the floor is what I'm that was what we look at. So. Good. Well, thank you for your time today. Appreciate it. Uh, Stay tuned for episode 14 to see what coach we bring on next.